Good morning, friends, and welcome to the beginning of my 30-day declutter challenge. For 30 days, I picked a new spot in my house that needed to be more organized and most importantly, decluttered. I decluttered over 1,000 items. I wish that I counted the items, but honestly, there was just so much that had to be decluttered and I was just trying to get it done so that I could get back to doing the things that I love, which by the way, isn't cleaning. Just a little background with most of the areas I chose to do the KonMari method of cleaning, which for those of you who aren't familiar with that, the KonMari method encourages decluttering by category, not by location. So you bring everything out of the area you are cleaning and you try to keep only those things that spark joy in you and make you happy. I also always try to clean using the Swedish death cleaning method, which is a little bit more extreme where you declutter things so that when you pass away, you don't burden your family with a bunch of useless stuff that they may feel like they need to keep. Usually it's not recommended to start this type of cleaning until you're about 65 years old, but I just really like the concept of it. It helps me look at things in a new light, especially when I'm decluttering. It makes me ask myself if I was to pass away tomorrow, is this item really that important? And usually the answer is no. So it really helps me really figure out just how sentimental an item really is. But if you are joining me in this 30 day declutter challenge, which I really hope you are, it really doesn't matter which cleaning method you would prefer to use as long as you are getting in there, decluttering, organizing and cleaning up your space. It is going to make a huge difference regardless of which cleaning method you use. Just feel free to use the one that is going to work best for you and your home. But as you can see here, I am starting day one on my bedside drawers. There is so much junk in these drawers. You could probably call this my junk drawer as well because we don't really have one of those in the kitchen like I suppose most people would. But I just have everything from hair ties to pens and pencils to blue tack, Velcro tabs, cards, puzzle books, crafts, some medication. I just have the most random stuff in this drawer. It's just basically a place for everything that doesn't really belong anywhere specifically in the house, but I'm trying to change that today. I'm trying to go through this, throw out a bunch of stuff that just isn't used anymore or is just old and worn out like sticky notes and things like that. And I'm just trying to really cut this drawer down by at least 50%. Now, as you guys know, I've been talking about this 30 day declutter challenge for a little while now, and I am so excited to be finally getting it done. We are only on day one, but I just think this is going to make such a huge difference for the house and for my mental health. I know it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to live. So here we just have all of the rubbish that all just needs to go in the recycle basically. I have a little pile here of hair things that need to go in the bathroom. My heat packs, they definitely need to go back in the drawer. And all of these like electronics and things, I think that I'm going to find a new place for those. And this pile here, most of it is going back in the drawer as well. So I still feel like I've cut it down by over 50%. I'm happy with day one. I'm going to go ahead and put everything where it belongs now and throw all this rubbish out. And then I'm going to reorganize my bedside drawer now that it has been all decluttered. Day two and I have decided to declutter my closet. This needs a major declutter. I want to get rid of at least 50% of what's in here as well. I want to fill two large bags of clothes and just donate them and get them out of this cupboard. I feel like I wear pretty much the same clothes every day. As a mum, I don't really go out that often. It's not really the stage of life that I'm in. So I just wear the basic black t-shirt, black leggings pretty much every day 
and when it's cold, I chuck a hoodie on. So I feel like a lot of this stuff is just sitting here for no reason and it's all just taking up so much room. So just like I did on day one, I'm taking everything out of this closet and I'm going to put it onto my bed so that I can really use the KonMari cleaning method and go through each item. And if it doesn't bring me joy, I really am just looking forward to donating it and having a lot more space in this wardrobe so that it is a lot more functional during the week when I'm trying to find outfits. I feel like if I have less, I might actually wear more if that makes sense. I think that I'll probably be able to see what I've got and maybe try and wear something different on some days rather than just black on black. But anyways, I need to go through all those clothes and I also have a bunch of papers and just junk on the floor in this cupboard as well that hasn't seen the light of day in a long time. So I want to declutter all of that, throw as much of that out as I can and then give this wardrobe a bit of a deep clean as well. Before we make this even do not remember the last time I saw this much carpet in the bottom of my wardrobe. I'm surprised it's actually still in pretty good condition with the way that I just throw things in here all the time. But finally, I have a clean canvas to work with. I'm going to try my best not to fill this up with things again. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through all of my clothes now and try my best to only return about 50% of those clothes back to the wardrobe. On top of not really wearing most of these clothes, I do have a few things in here still with tags on and those things are pretty much definite donations because I haven't gone clothes shopping in such a long time. So I bought those clothes at least a couple years ago and if they have still got the tag on them, then clearly I have not found a use for them. So I'm going to donate everything with tags on it and also all those dresses that I keep because I think that I'll wear them one day when I feel better about myself and the way that I look, which is honestly just silly because when it comes down to it, they're all just excuses. If I'm not wearing them, I'm not wearing them. So I'm just going to be getting rid of them, donating them. I'll probably have a few things that will need to go straight to the bin. And there's probably, you know, three or four dresses that are really sentimental to me, like my graduation dress and my baby shower dress. So there's a couple things, but I mean like two or three things that I am going to keep for keepsakes that I probably will never wear again. But other than that, I really just want to declutter as much as possible today so that I can have a more organized and functional wardrobe to work with. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be. No one's waiting for me. I won't lie. I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away. I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. Help myself fall in love, I go crazy. Uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to. 
So I've just finished decluttering majority of the wardrobe and I've just gone and hung up those clothes that I am keeping for now. But now I just need to go through all of those clothes that were just thrown in on the floor of my wardrobe, what I would call my floor drobe. And a lot of these I just completely forgot that I had. So majority of these clothes are going to be donated because I just don't wear them anymore as I said, I didn't even know they were there. So there's not much point keeping them. There's a few things that I'm throwing up on the bed that I am going to hang up and put back because they're like little treasures that I found amongst all of this junk and forgot that I had. But other than that, majority of this, yeah, I'll just donate it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish going through this pile. There's going to be a few things that I actually need to throw out, like my bags, because for some reason they are just completely falling apart. Like I'm touching the linings of them and they're just crumbling in my hands. I'm not sure why that's happened, but they need to go in the bin. They definitely, no one wants to pick them up from an op shop. They're just complete trash. So I'm going to throw them out and then go ahead, hang those last few items and then collect all of the donation items in some bags ready to go to the op shop. I, 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 what you want to do now was to be afraid of when we're young, stupid and in love. When you talk, listen close, there's just something about your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. I just want you for my own It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this I, 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 What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? I, 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 when you give me that smile I think my heart's turning up the pace I don't care about what we do If I get to be with you I, 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 What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young? Fall in love, I go crazy I, 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 What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? I, 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 Will you give me that smile? I think my heart's turning up the pace I don't care about what we do If I get to be with you I, 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 What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of? What were you stupid and in love? So we are finishing up day two of the 30 day declutter challenge and I am so shocked that all of my hanging clothes fit on one bar at the moment and the floor, the floor is just empty. I cannot even explain how happy this makes me. It is now day three of our 30 day declutter challenge and today I am decluttering all of my jewelry and little knickknack type of items. I did just recently get given this gold basket with a bunch of random jewelry in it for my daughter and a lot of it she just didn't need or you know it just seemed to be more clutter when at the moment I'm really just trying to get rid of clutter. So a lot of this stuff is pretty easy to get rid of. This jewelry is not sentimental to me. Uh, the boxes at the back are the wooden boxes. They're from my nan who has passed away. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of them, but when it comes to the actual jewelry, there is still a lot of jewelry here, especially what came out of the purple woven basket that I have kept for years, like since I was so young as a teenager, all the jewelry that I brought from those cheap jewelry stores, there's just so much in there that I just have been holding on to forever. And those things are a little more sentimental. They are going to be hard to get rid of but I still decided to get rid of a lot of it because honestly I'm not really a jewelry person I don't wear jewelry anymore a lot of it I only wore sort of when I'd go out to the clubs and stuff with friends but I just don't do that anymore and a lot of it's like chunky jewelry that I just don't think is like the trend anymore but I could be wrong there because again 
my life doesn't consist of going out anymore so I wouldn't even know what the trends are if I'm being honest but also in here is just a lot of like shop membership cards to like the chemist health shops and like the zoo time zone cards things like that a lot of them can be cut up and thrown out too now so really other than a few sentimental pieces of jewelry and those two wooden boxes at the back there I'm pretty much going to be getting rid of everything here because yeah I'm just not really a jewelry person so this is going to clear up a lot of space in my wardrobe which really makes me happy in my case I feel like jewelry is going to be one of the easiest things for me to declutter out of this whole 30 day declutter challenge but I totally understand for anyone who is following along on this decluttering challenge that jewelry is probably going to be a hard one for you you guys probably have really expensive jewelry or jewelry that is a lot more sentimental and I totally understand that you probably will only be able to get rid of a few items if any but if you are anything like me and you have hoarded things from when you were much younger then a lot of it probably is cheap like mine from those cheaper jewelry stores or even markdowns at Kmart and Target and things like that so this might be the motivation you need to finally get rid of those things but if not, I totally understand if this is a hard one for you to declutter. In my case, though, it is definitely time for me to declutter and donate a lot of these items. <laughs> So these couple boxes on the left here is what I'm going to be keeping and then over here on the right is everything that is going to be donated and I'll be throwing those little like gift boxes and stuff in the recycling bin. So I would say that day three I think we're on was a success. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing that's the thing I like about you. So we are on day four of our 30 day declutter challenge and today is pajamas. I am going to be personally decluttering my pajamas by at least 50%. A lot of my pajamas I get as a gift for Mother's Day or my birthday and a lot of the time they aren't my size unfortunately. I really don't like throwing away gifts. It makes me feel really bad compared to if it's something I have purchased myself but there really just comes a time where it's just got to go. You can't hold on to things forever especially if they're not going to be used and especially if you can donate it if someone else can find joy out of something that is just sitting in your home then I say why not so I've been meaning to donate them for a while now I just haven't got around to it but what better time than during a 30-day declutter challenge so today's the day I'm going to get in there and declutter and donate everything that doesn't fit me or that I just don't wear. So this pile here on the left is everything I'm going to be donating and then this little pile here is what is going to be going back into my wardrobe. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66 and we keep on driving, we just do what we wanna do, yeah. No, nothing's complicated. Okay, so today is day five of my 30 day declutter challenge and today I decided to declutter my bathers. I feel like today's was really easy for a couple reasons. One, I'm not really a huge fan of the beach and swimming anyway, so I don't really need all of these options because I really just don't wear them. And the other reason being, other than a couple of these items, pretty much all of these bathers are from before I had kids and my body has changed a lot since having kids. So the tops don't really fit that well anymore anyway. I probably wouldn't go out in public with those tops on anymore. So I think today I'm just going to pretty much declutter everything here, maybe keep a couple items. And if I do need to in the future, I will purchase maybe one one piece suit or something like that that's maybe a little bit more mum appropriate for the beach but other than that yeah I'm just gonna get rid of all of these because you just you would not see me on the beach in a little string bikini anymore I, I mean I barely had the confidence for it when I was a teenager I'm definitely not going to find the confidence for it now so here is the pile that I'm going to be donating on the side here and then this little pile here is everything that I'm going to be putting back in the drawer that I still possibly will wear on the odd occasion that I do get in the water.
Today is day six of my 30 day declutter challenge and today I am decluttering this hanging wardrobe thing that I wish that I never brought. This thing just collects dust, it collects things, it collects just everything it doesn't need to. I feel like sometimes storage is good but sometimes having extra storage just becomes a um, junk station. So I'm taking this down today. I'm going to clean the top again. If you saw my huge major bedroom declutter, uh, it was last year at some point. I can't remember when I uploaded that one, but this thing was caked with dust. And I mean, I haven't bring it down and cleaned it in a year. So I suppose this is a year's worth of dust, but still, it is just crazy how much accumulates in these wardrobes. So I am just giving this a good clean down before I take it over to my bed to take everything out of it because I really just don't want this dust storm going around my room. But now that that is clean, I'm going to take everything out of it and put it on my bed. And the first thing out of this huge pile that I'm going to be donating is this hanging shelf because it should never have been there in the first place. And I am just ready to get rid of it so that things just don't keep building up in it again because I just wanna declutter this house. I don't want to have spaces like this that can just be used for clutter. I want to become a little bit more of a minimalist, have a little bit less stuff in this house. I want to see empty spaces in this house. I don't know what it is about having an empty space, but it makes me happy. You say that I'm crazy. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you. Mm. Your laughter takes me to heaven. I just want to make you and repeat it again yeah you make the sky so blue no nothing's complicated with you Okay, so at the moment, all these little piles of stuff that I have going on on my bed are basically the things that I am keeping. I know it seems like a lot, but we will get to the donations and rubbish pile soon, which is pretty large too. But the reason I have put all this stuff in piles is because a lot of this stuff just does not belong in my bedroom, especially not in my wardrobe. So I've put them in piles so that I can take them to the places where they actually belong. Like the cards belong in the game cupboard, the hats belong at the front door, the kids stuff belongs in their room. I think there was a couple coloring books and even some birthday cards and things like that that I need 
to go ahead and put in their keepsake box in their cupboard. So there was just a lot of things on that shelf that just didn't belong there, but somehow it all ends up in my bedroom. I don't know how, don't ask me, but that is what I'm doing here. I'm just going ahead and putting all of these things in the places where they belong before throwing out the rubbish and putting the donation pile into a bag so that I can add them to the pile of donation bags that I already have ready to go at the end of the week. I was going to take them at the end of every day, except I feel like because it's a 30 day challenge, that's gonna end up being a lot. So I've decided that I'm going to take everything at the end of every week, just so that I'm not having to go every single night. But also I don't wanna be leaving it longer than a week because the bags do pile up quickly. And I have a partner that does not like getting rid of things. So he will go through those bags and try to convince me to keep things. So I really just need to get them out of the house as soon as possible. So now that the hanging shelf is gone, this space is so empty. There is still a lot of like clutter down the bottom of this wardrobe, which I'm going to be doing in day seven because a lot of this stuff, again, can just be decluttered. I don't wear a lot of these shoes anymore, but I just don't know what to do with this part of the wardrobe. I feel like I'm happy to leave it empty, but at the same time, can't help but wonder could I use it for something else? If you have any ideas for this space, please let me know in the comments down below. So we have hit day seven, as I said, of this 30 day declutter challenge. And I'm just going through these shoes that I said just before that I don't really wear anymore, but these cowboy boots have been my absolute favorite shoes for years. I brought these from the Danila Quinn Ute Master, which is just one of my favorite festivals to go to. And they just don't fit me anymore. Since I had kids, my feet have grown a size and it just makes me so sad to be donating them. But I just feel like they really are something that's going to sit in the wardrobe forever and take up room. And it was just time to let go of them. But that really did make me so sad. I don't know if you saw my little pouty face when I put those in the donation pile. But yeah, it just shows that Decluttering is not always easy. And if we were going by the Mary Kondo cleaning method there, I would have kept them because those boots bring me so much joy, except I think with this one, I went more with the Swedish death cleaning method. They were never gonna fit me again. It was sadly just time to get rid of them and clear up space in the wardrobe. Week one of my 30 day declutter challenge is complete. I'm so happy with how much I decluttered from my bedroom. Now I'm going to take all these bags to the op shop and donate them so that we can be fresh and ready for day eight. Good morning, everyone. Today is day eight of my 30 day declutter challenge and I'm so ready to tackle our main bathroom. This wardrobe, oh, sorry, not wardrobe, this cupboard behind the mirror is just so cluttered and has so much stuff in it that just we don't even use and it doesn't need to be there. Some of these things are expired as well. So I am just going through and pulling everything off these shelves. I'm going to give the shelves a clean today and then I'm just going to put back the products that we still use. And I don't think that you can donate these things, especially because most of them are open. So I am just going to be putting all of the decluttered items today straight into the bin. I also have a ton of stuff in the bathroom drawers that need to be decluttered as well. But if I did all of this in one day, it just becomes such a huge job that I just don't want to do and I don't have time for on the daily. So I've split it into two. I'm doing this mirror cupboard first and then I will get to the drawers tomorrow. One thing that I need to continuously remind myself when it comes to decluttering is to start small. Sometimes I look at these areas in my house that need to be decluttered and it just seems like such a huge 
job and I just put it off for so, so long. So if you're like me and have a ton of bathroom products, go ahead and split the areas of your bathroom up into five minute tasks. Like if you have three drawers, do one drawer a day. It will get it done eventually and it doesn't seem like such a huge task. Maybe if you're waiting for your moisturizer to dry before you put your makeup on or something, just go ahead and declutter one drawer or clean it out and then you know, put your makeup on and it's just such a small task that way. It won't interfere with your day or your plans and it will just slowly, slowly get your house back in order. It is day nine of my 30 day declutter challenge and I am back in the bathroom. It is time to tackle these drawers today. And not only do they need to be decluttered, but as you can see, this drawer is broken. This second drawer actually broke as well today. So I'm going to go ahead and fix both of those drawers, get them decluttered so that they are not overstuffed anymore because I am pretty sure that that is why they are breaking in the first place. Even in my wildest dreams. Even in my wildest dreams Oh yeah
Now that we have two completely empty and cleaned out drawers, it is time to sort out this disaster up here on the sink. I'm just going ahead and putting all of the hair ties and hair bows and everything of my daughter's into this little pouch here. And then I've also got a bag of makeup in that gold pouch. But other than that, um, I am trying to declutter as much of this as possible. Things that I won't be keeping, I'm just throwing in to the sink here. And I will pop all of that into a plastic bag at the end. For now though, I am just trying to go through everything and decide what I am keeping and what I will be decluttering. I don't know about you, but my hairbrushes need to be cleaned out, like deep cleaned out every, I don't know, three months. This is probably not even that much hair on them at the moment. It is usually so thick that the bristles really can't be seen. So I'm getting on top of these a little earlier this time, which I am not complaining about, but I was just not putting these back into the drawer with hair in them, especially when I had just taken so long to vacuum out those drawers and wipe them out and everything. But now that they have been cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and get a bag for the rubbish. I'm gonna throw all of that out and then I'm gonna give this sink a good wipe down. So here are the drawers now. I know that three deodorants is probably a little excessive, except I have a very sensitive nose. So I do like to change my deodorants up quite often because otherwise I just feel like they stink after a while. I don't know if that's normal, if that's just me, but anyways, the drawers are decluttered. I've managed to keep this cabinet decluttered as well. I only added, I think two things to this cabinet from the drawers. So Everything is still super decluttered and I'm happy with how much I got rid of. So we have hit day 10 today of my 30 day declutter challenge. And today I have decided to clean and declutter my cleaning products. A few of these bottles, as you can see, are basically empty. And honestly, I've been using vinegar on my floors and in my bathroom and just hot soapy water on the bench tops and things a lot lately. So I really haven't looked through this cleaning cabinet in quite a long time. So I'm not really sure what's in here but it actually turned out to be a good thing because I really don't use this stuff. I was able to get rid of quite a bit of the rubbish and products on this shelf, which just made it a lot more easier to grab things that I need when I need them. The way you make me feel is crazy. How did you get so fly? You got me like... So it is day 11 here and I have moved into the lounge room. We've moved out of my bedroom finally, although 
There is still a lot that needs to be decluttered in my bedroom. I definitely made a huge dent. So I am happy with how it's looking at the moment, but I will be heading back in there in the coming months, that's for sure. But this is my coffee table slash uh, some of the kids toy storage and it's gotten out of hand so I really wanted to clean up this area today and declutter a bunch of toys out of these boxes here today. There's lots of McDonald's toys in here and just random bits and pieces and baby puzzles that the kids have grown out of now so I knew that there would be a lot here that needed to be decluttered. So I've just started off by cleaning the floor in front of this and now I'm just cleaning the surface on top so I have a clean space and area to work with and then I'm going to be grabbing those boxes out and decluttering those. So here I started off a little slow. I had gotten into a really good rhythm with decluttering my bedroom, but now that I have moved into a new area and particularly that this stuff wasn't mine, it's my kids' stuff, it was a little difficult at first to know what to declutter and how much to declutter. I really wanted to avoid upsetting my kids, but at the same time, I knew that a lot of this stuff had to go. So I just thought I'll start by sorting it into a keep pile and a throwaway pile. And if the keep pile, you know, is too big, I'll go back through it and declutter again. Because it was a bit of a struggle to start off with, I thought I'll just treat this as like a decluttering process rather than doing a major declutter in this area. I will just uh, declutter as much as I can to start with and then I would go over it again another day if I couldn't do it all in one day but it turned out that I was able to actually get rid of quite a lot on this day and to be honest my kids did not even notice all of the stuff that I threw out in fact they play with the stuff that's left in this box more now that there's less in there because they're less overwhelmed with the amount of toys I guess that it was filled with so if you are decluttering kids toys and you are thinking maybe you're decluttering too much then maybe this is your sign that sometimes less is more. I mean these boxes are pretty deep but I could not believe how much junk and toys was jammed into all of this and I just want to say if you're here for the free foot content then I am sorry how disappointed you probably are right now with these feet. I was playing outside with my kids all morning and I just had a chance in the afternoon to come inside and do my daily declutter challenge. So I did that and I just didn't even think about my feet and looking at the footage now. I'm sure that I'm going to get somebody commenting on how disgusting they are and fair call, they, they are, but I just, you know, I you just got to get it done and I wasn't going to use any excuses as to why I couldn't complete my daily declutter challenge on any of the days. Even if I was really busy, I would stay up late and do my challenge or I would get up earlier and do it. I just really wanted to make sure that I completed this 30 day declutter challenge because I knew that it would help me out a ton, especially with Christmas coming up. I really just didn't want to be overwhelmed with more stuff before I had the chance to get rid of some of the older stuff that's been accumulating over the years. So dirty feet and all, I am getting it done. I'm just showing you here. There is a completely empty box and the other box is only a little bit full, but here is everything that I am going to be throwing out. A lot of this is just junk. The puzzles aren't complete puzzles. We've lost pieces over the years because of my dog. He was a puppy when the kids were little. We sort of got the dog and had our first baby at the same time. So a lot of the baby toys got chewed on as puppies do. So I just threw out pretty much all of this stuff. There was nothing here that I could really donate, but I am so happy to have all of this extra space now in this cube storage. It has made such a huge difference. So we have hit day 12 now and we have taken a step to the right and we have moved next door into our dining room. This cubby has become a junk station junk cubby I don't know it is just where all the random toys get thrown I have a lot of like blankets and sheets up here that I bring in from the clothesline that I just don't get around to folding and then we also keep any poppable 
balls up here too because if the dog gets to those they're gone in like five seconds he pops any ball in sight so we try to keep the balls out of his reach so that everyone is happy but for now i just started off by taking all of those bed sheets off the top and i put those where they belong and then i put those balls that are up here in the outdoor storage box that we have now that thing has come in handy so much since we brought it a lot of the toys that were inside and in the garage now are in that storage box and it's just really easy for the kids to grab what they need when they need it rather than waiting for us to get it out of the garage but now that the roof is all cleared off i'm just quickly giving it a good vacuum it is caked in dust the one thing that i find with decluttering is when you have a lot of stuff you also have a lot of dust which you probably see a fair bit sort of flying in front of the camera while i am filming these videos and I know some of you have commented on that and get upset by it and trust me I'm upset by it too I don't like having this much dust in my house which is why I am doing something about it finally and decluttering and cleaning up my home so for those of you who do judge me for the dust that flies over the screen I've had a few comments in the past I think it's great that you have your house under control at all times it clearly shows that you haven't lived with anxiety or depression or had to deal with cleaning with anxiety and depression and honestly I'm happy for you because that sounds like a dream. I would love to be able to live without anxiety and depression. It is debilitating at times and unfortunately uh, my home does suffer because of that. So while I am super happy for you that you don't have to experience this, a lot of people on my channel do experience this. A lot of people watching can understand and relate to my mess and how and why it has gotten to the point that it has gotten to now and I know this because for every one negative comment I get I get 10 positive comments and uplifting comments and I am just so so grateful for that side of YouTube that watches my channel and it's those people that comment those positive things that keep me making new videos you guys motivate me every day to keep going you make me feel like I'm not alone on this journey and I just appreciate you guys that's stop and take the time to leave a kind comment so so much because honestly it is not hard to be kind and kindness is the kind of thing that gets people out of these situations it makes people want to clean uh, it's when the negative comments come in that can really bring somebody down that is already feeling down so for those of you who are here as a friend and for the motivation which is majority of you by the way i see your comments i read them i love them they mean the absolute world to me i love the community that has grown in my comment section over the last couple years i am honestly i, I just could not be more grateful So I've got two piles here. The first one that I'm just putting into this bag here is everything I'm decluttering. Basically, it's just the whole ball pit situation I had going on in there. The kids have outgrown the ball pit. And I think that is what was creating the extra mess and clutter in there because it wasn't being used. It was just being used as a dump station. So decluttering that I think is going to make a big difference. And then this other pile over here is just all of the golf stuff. They got this for, I think my son got this for his birthday and they haven't really had too much of a chance to play it yet but now the warmer weather is coming up I'm taking this out in a bag to the outdoor storage box that I was talking about earlier so the cubby is finally cleaned and decluttered it is empty at the moment I'm not sure if I'm going to put their little play shop in there or not but for now I'm keeping it empty this is everything that was in there that I'm keeping not all of it's going to stay out here but for now it is because I have this whole mess going on behind the camera here. This isn't what came out of the cubby, believe it or not, or the cube storage from yesterday. It is literally just another toy station that is just building up and needs a good declutter. So for now, I'm going to click my fingers, move it all over there, and that is officially tomorrow's problem now. I am trying not to overwhelm myself by doing too much at once so although the other side of this dining room is still a complete disaster right now we are slowly making progress around the house so with this cubby though I haven't actually shared a whole lot of cleaning in this decluttering series because I did want to keep it just to a declutter but I couldn't help myself with this cubby there was so many texture marks on it and stickers and 
I just thought that this would be some satisfying cleaning motivation for you all if that is something that you are also into. I don't know if you came to my channel just for the decluttering side of things because that's what this video is mostly about or if you've been here for a while then I know that you're also here for the cleaning content too. So I thought I would just add this in but don't worry majority of this video is just decluttering because if I left all of the cleaning footage in this 30 day decluttering challenge series these videos would have went for hours. I honestly had to do so much cleaning in between the decluttering. It was crazy, but I tried my best to cut a lot of that footage out and just really focus on the decluttering in this series and just hopefully give you guys some motivation to declutter your own homes before Christmas. So here is just a really quick before and after of the cubby area. This has made such a huge difference. Since then, we have put the shop in there and the kids have had so much fun playing in there. This is everything that I ended up decluttering from this area. We got rid of a full bag of just a few random toys and most of the balls, the ball pit, and another couple random items. It may not look like a lot, but it has made such a huge difference. Today is day 13. Fun fact about me, 13 is actually my lucky number, but I was not feeling lucky this day. This is the kids' main toy storage slash play area. I mean, really the whole house is their toy storage slash play area. They have completely taken over our house, but this area is always first to get out of hand. So today I am fixing that. I am doing a major declutter today. So much of this has to go. I've had enough of the clutter and honestly, so have the kids. They barely play over here lately because it's just so overwhelming. I just don't think that they even know where to start. So I really wanted to get in there and fix that for them. Today's declutter was a big one though and it was so exhausting. I just had piles going everywhere. I had a pile of coloring books, a pile of board games. I think I had a pile of like pencils and stickers, you name it. There was piles everywhere. It was just chaos. But the end result and the amount I decluttered on this day made every single second worth it. I know for so many people when the house does get to this state or sometimes for many people even worse than this, it can be so hard to know where to start cleaning or what to declutter. I know I mentioned a couple of the decluttering methods that are my personal favorites in my previous video. If you missed that though, I like to use the KonMari method and the Swedish death cleaning method. And although they are great methods to use to declutter, I understand that maybe they're not for everyone. And in my opinion, the KonMari method really can get so overwhelming. So I wanted to share some more decluttering tips in today's video that I have learned along the way that might just be a little less overwhelming for you. And the first and most important tip I would say is to start small. I'm a very all or nothing kind of person. So I just go head first into things and tend to do too much at once and then get burnt out really quickly. So I told myself before this challenge to slow down and give myself plenty of breaks, which I didn't stand by this advice for the whole 30 day declutter challenge, but I tried my best. 30 days really is such a long time and it's very, very easy to burn out. In fact, I did a couple of times, but I did get there in the end. But yeah, to avoid that, I really do recommend to start small, find a box or a drawer to start with, or even if that still sounds too overwhelming, set yourself a really simple decluttering challenge like decluttering one item a day. That's still 365 items a year out of your house, which is huge and will still make such a huge difference. But waking up every day and just decluttering one item really is so simple and such a simple way to still make progress. Honestly, I could sit here all day and share a bunch of decluttering tips with you all. I love talking about cleaning and decluttering and organizing, but to be honest, some of my best and favorite decluttering tips I learn from my comment section from you guys when you stop and leave comments and share with me your decluttering tips and the decluttering methods that you use and your cleaning tips and all that stuff. I learn so much from you guys. I probably reckon that I learn more from you than you <laughs> learn from me. 
But I just love that about this community on YouTube. I love how kind you all are, majority of you anyway. And I just love learning from you all. There's always something to uh, learn or to be taught. And honestly, I am always learning so, so much from reading through your guys' comments. So please keep them coming. And that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Because we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So baby, bye. So we are slowly but surely getting somewhere, but I actually really wish that I did this challenge over 60 or 90 days and broke it up more into smaller parts. Like with this cube storage I'm doing today, this was such a huge overwhelming task. It really didn't all need to be done in the one day. So please remember that decluttering is a journey, not a race. Take your time, people, and try to enjoy the process. Take lots and lots of before and after pictures to remind yourself how far you have come and just be sure to reward yourself as well. I went and got myself so many takeout coffees this month, it wasn't even funny, which I usually don't do, but it really gave me that feel-good boost to get it all done. So make sure that you are taking care of you too during this process, during your decluttering journey. It is so, so important because if you get burnt out, who knows how long you're going to just, you know, quit and stop. And sometimes it can take so much longer to find that motivation again if you've already tried and failed. It just does something to your brain that stops you from getting back up and trying again. So please, if there's one thing you take out of today's video, take it slow. Don't burn out. Take care of yourself. Just, yeah, take it easy. Tired, I can stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away I won't waste this There's something about the way you Fix your eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love I go crazy I, I, What you wanna do now? your voice. I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. I just want you for my own. It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known. I'm not gonna waste this. I, I, what you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you.
sexual eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love I go crazy So I'm just finishing this last row of shelves. They need a quick wipe down before I organize the toys back onto the shelves. But honestly, there's still these top storage boxes, these dark gray ones that need to be sorted through. And the top of the cube storage needs a really good wipe down. And it's just got so much clutter up there too. But honestly, the amount of stuff I've already decluttered, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, there is a massive pile behind the camera. It is just too much to fit into the bins. It is luckily bin night this night, so I was able to get rid of it all and start fresh the next day. But for this moment, as you can see here, there is just so much that already needs to go in the recycling and the bin. So this is where I sort of called it a day this day and um, I actually ended up keeping that little wooden tray thing for some crafts. But other than that, all of this had to go in the bin, recycle. There was a small amount of things here that I was able to donate, but unfortunately a lot of these toys just are really old or broken, so they just had to go. But I am so happy with how much I was able to to declutter from this area. I feel like I got myself into a really good rhythm from the last couple of days and it's getting a lot easier now to declutter the kids' toys. And I just feel like the cube storage is so much more manageable now. I have also noticed such a huge increase in the amount of time they're actually spending playing during the day now. They are just really getting in there, picking out puzzles and toys that they haven't played with in such a long time. And honestly, it really makes doing this declutter challenge so well worth it. So I'm going to quickly show you a before and after shot now. The difference is huge and I just feel like I can breathe again in this room. So somehow we have made it to day 14. Today is one of those days that I mentioned earlier. I really had burnt out. I was done. I really didn't want to do the challenge today, but I thought it's better to do something small than to not do it at all. So I decided to set myself a really small challenge today and I just wanted to get the top of this cube storage cleaned and decluttered, especially because the warmer weather is coming up. Oh, it's supposed to be warmer where we are. It's kind of still trying to make up its mind between raining one day and boiling hot the next, but we are supposed to be moving into summer. So I wanted to get this area cleaned off because this air conditioner is probably going to be in use more often at the moment. So although day 14 wasn't a massive declutter, I still feel like I accomplished something and I was able to continue on with my decluttering challenge without completely burning out. Gonna stay in this moment, gonna live So it is day 15 and we have moved into my son's room now. I am so excited to be finished with the kids toys for a moment but I'm also just really excited about today. This wardrobe is a complete disaster as you can see and I have been wanting to get in here and tackle this mess for such a long time now. So I have decided to break this down into four sections to prevent myself from getting overwhelmed because there truly is just so, so much in this wardrobe. But today I am working on decluttering the hanging clothes first. Both my son and daughter 
currently share this wardrobe, which can help explain why it's so jam-packed full. But at the same time, it's also been about 12 months since I've gone through and decluttered either of their clothes. And since they are a year older now and they have grown out of a lot of stuff, it really is the perfect time to do a major clothes declutter and just bag it all up and take it to the salvo. So as overwhelming as it all was looking, I just really had to get in there and get it done. Been walking down the street so many times my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. So now that the hanging clothes have been decluttered, I'm just sorting through my son's and daughter's clothes and putting them on opposite sides of the wardrobe. I originally had it like this. Feels like such a long time ago now, but over time, they all just got mixed up together and just created complete chaos. But now that they are sorted, here is everything that I have decluttered today. The only thing that I'm going to be keeping is this little pink dress. I am just not ready to part with this one yet, but that's okay. I just keep reminding myself that decluttering is a process. It doesn't need to be all done overnight. So for now, I'm keeping this one, but I'm going to go ahead and bag up the rest of these clothes. There is still so much that needs to be decluttered in this wardrobe though. So instead of taking this bag straight to the salvos tonight, I'm just going to wait until the end of the week once I have decluttered the entire wardrobe and then take all of the bags down to the salvos at once just to save me a whole bunch of unnecessary trips. We are on day 16. We are over halfway through this 30-day declutter challenge and today I am back in my kids' wardrobe. I have decided to tackle these drawers for today. They have everything from socks and underwear to pajamas, their pants, their t-shirts. They just have so many clothes in here. The drawers are barely shutting anymore. So I'm really excited about today's decluttering project. I've been wanting to tackle these drawers for a while now. I'm going to start up the top here with this open shelf. This is basically just my daughter's next size up of clothes that need to be now hung up and added to the drawers. So although there is going to be a lot taken out of these drawers today, the pajama drawer will probably stay 
pretty much the same because I basically have their next couple sizes up already folded and in that drawer ready for them to grow into. So there's not really a whole lot I can declutter in that drawer, but it needs a good tidy up and the rest of these drawers really need to be decluttered badly. So I'm going to get in there and get this done and hopefully it will take this wardrobe one step closer to being much more manageable and clutter free. at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on So I went through all of the drawers and this pile on the floor here is everything that I managed to declutter on day 16 from those black drawers. I'm pretty happy with how much I got out of them. The main goal was to make sure that all of these drawers were shut and could shut successfully and we succeeded there. I'm really happy that this doesn't look like a hot mess anymore. The top drawer is looking really organized. This next drawer though is still pretty full, but as I said, there's a lot of sizes in there. I could probably put some away, but uh, it's just, it works for now. Both kids now have their own drawer for their pants. So that's gonna make it a lot easier to find things. They're a lot more organized now. And yeah, that bottom drawer is just bathers. So that really didn't need to be looked at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bag all of these up and add it to our pile that is going to be going to the donations at the end of the week. It's day 17 and for today's declutter challenge, we are tackling the dreaded baby clothes. I have had these clothes here in this corner of this wardrobe for around five years now. A lot of it is my son's baby clothes, so first baby things, which are extremely hard to let go of. And 
Every single time I have tried to declutter these in the past, I have struggled big time. I feel like sometimes these clothes are all I have left of my baby, who is now a big kid in prep at primary school, which hurts my heart. And for such a long time, I have felt that if I give up these clothes, then I'm really closing that chapter of my life forever and it's just really emotional for me. So I have put this off for a long time but I feel like that time was needed. Today was really different when I pulled these clothes out. It was different to all the other times that I had tried to declutter them in the past. Usually I tried to declutter them because I thought that it was something that I just had to do but this time I was just ready to let go. My heart was ready which just made the process slightly easier today, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it was easy to see when I just showed you the side of the wardrobe, but there is a full tub in there and heaps of bags that were just stacked on top of that tub, just jam-packed full of baby clothes. So I just grabbed down the first few bags off the mountain and that's what I'm tackling here today. I ended up decluttering about 80% of what I went through today. Just on the left of the screen there, I had started a pile of things to donate and that just kept getting bigger and bigger, which is rare when I'm donating baby items. And then the few items that I was wanting to keep, I just was putting them up on the drawers next to me. I didn't keep much, but keeping those few items just made it so much easier for me to declutter the rest. Maybe I was blind, known you forever while I tried to find someone that could be my great love. Right in front of me, I didn't realize you were my dream. So you took me by surprise. Oh, yeah. Even in my wildest dreams. This bit is just a little bit of reality hitting. I was so proud of myself for how much I had decluttered that I did a little throw of the clothes into the air just to say like wow I've done it and then as soon as I threw them into the air I just started bursting out crying so then I just laid on the clothes and sort of it was just like I felt like I was hugging my baby and just saying goodbye to him it actually ended up getting really emotional and really hard but I did it I got rid of them and I just want to say mamas out there if you are struggling to get rid of your baby clothes just um, wait, just wait until your heart is ready because although I still got emotional today, it was definitely a lot easier than it was in the past. The donation pile is getting bigger, but I am not done yet. I'm back into the wardrobe on day 18, but today is the last day that I'm going to be spending in this wardrobe before I reveal the before and after pictures. The difference is so massive, but today I decided to tackle their teddy bears. The kids have so many teddies that they love, but they also have so many that they just never really cared for having. So I really want to get rid of them now before they get to an age where they might not let me get rid of their things. I remember for myself, I had probably about this much teddies growing up and I didn't get rid of them until I'd probably moved out to my third house as an adult. Like I was just so attached to them. So I think that I'm sort of doing them a little bit of a favor right now by getting rid of the ones that just really do mean nothing because the ones that I had as a kid, I just thought they were all sentimental because they were from when I was a kid and I just didn't know which ones were really truly sentimental, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm going through them today, but after the teddies, I am done in here and I'm sure a lot of you watching are probably thinking, oh, it's not finished. You missed some shelves. You didn't do the top shelf. There's um, a top shelf above those hanging clothes. And, you know, I didn't go through the smaller drawers and so on. And I know there is still so much that can be decluttered in here. It's insane. But this stuff has taken years to accumulate. This wardrobe has been filling up for six years now. 
it's hard to go through six years worth of stuff and declutter it all in a day or just a few days. So I don't know if that's a good way to explain why I didn't do the whole wardrobe. But someone also commented on my last video that this stuff didn't get here overnight and to take my time decluttering it all. And I loved that comment. So whoever wrote that, thank you so much. Because there were some days during the decluttering challenge that I thought I should have been doing a lot more. But that comment really made me feel happy with what I had decluttered already. And it just reminded me that, you know, this is years and years and years of stuff I'm dealing with. I know I have said it before, but I do have to say it again. Decluttering is a process. It's not something that can be done perfectly the first time that you do it. But for today, it was still a success because we made progress. I was able to declutter quite a lot from the teddy section. These are just teddies that just haven't really had much love or attention since the day that they came into the home same with the dolls and yeah it was just time to bag them up and donate them to somebody or some kid that might appreciate them a lot more than my kids do or are at the moment so I'm going to bag those up and add them to the donation pile with the rest of the clothes and things from this wardrobe that we have already decluttered. few days here have been overwhelming at times while decluttering the kids wardrobe I was so happy to see this huge pile of clothes and teddies be donated just in time for Christmas now I can't tell you how happy this before and after shot makes me it may not be all matchy matchy and organized perfectly I'm not quite at that stage yet but for now it is just so much more clutter free and mess free and that just makes me so happy on day 19, I moved back into the lounge room and I decided to declutter the gaming drawer in the TV unit. About six months ago now, our Wii Fit and a lot of the games that went with it just stopped working. And I am a I'm pretty good when it comes to technology. I know a few things. I did my research and I tried to troubleshoot it, but I honestly just don't think I'm going to be able to fix this thing. So it has just been sitting here for months now taking up so much needed room we have other electronics that need a home my son got a nintendo switch for his birthday and this drawer is perfect to store all of that stuff in so today i'm just going to bag up all of the old console and games and to be completely honest i'm really not sure what i'm going to do with all of this stuff yet my partner's sort of one of those people who has those projects he says he's going to fix one day they're all piling up in his garage and now the Wii console is one of them because I'm just not sure um, sort of what I would even do with it. I don't know whether to sell it or take it to a store and see if they can fix it. But anyway, it is his problem now. It is out of my house and that's just going to have to do for now. I used to get so frustrated at all the stuff he would hoard and keep, especially when I'd try to throw it out and he'd grab it out the bin and go, oh, we don't need, you know, there's nothing wrong with this or you know, he just always had an excuse why um, he wanted to keep everything. But now I just tell him as long as it's in the garage, out of my view, he can keep whatever he wants. Because for me, it is just a lot easier to protect the piece and avoid an argument. But anyways, this is how the drawer is looking like now. It is so much better. And now these two bags are going straight to the garage and there's just that little bit of rubbish on the floor next to them that needs to go in the bin and we're done. Now we have hit day 20 and today I am decluttering the kids coloring books and drawing books and education books. There is just so much jammed in here. It is really hard to open this drawer at times. So I'm going to go through and declutter all of these. I grabbed this little folder, this little pink folder as well with some scissors because I know there's a lot of coloring books in here that only have like two or three pages left, but 
80 to 90% of the pages in the books are colored in. So I just thought instead of wasting any of the good coloring sheets in the books, I would cut them out and add them to this pink folder. And then that way I can recycle the rest of the coloring book. But yeah, today I'm going to go through all of these books here. There's a lot of them. So this one takes a while, but I just really need to get them all decluttered before Christmas. I actually plan on decluttering them before Christmas because I, my kids usually get coloring books for Christmas, but I made it like very clear to myself when I was clearing out this drawer that there is no way they are getting any coloring books for Christmas. They have way too many that they have not even gone through yet. So we're putting a pause on that for this year until they start using the ones that they already have. Even in my wildest dreams Oh yeah Even in my wildest dreams I didn't think we were destined to be And now you're laying next to me Everything feels like oh yeah Wanna give you every part of me I can't believe this is reality And now you're laying next to me Everything feels like oh yeah
2020 is complete. I have decluttered this entire drawer now. Here is everything that I'm going to be recycling. Majority of it can be recycled. Some of it will need to go in the rubbish though. This is how the drawer is looking now. It still looks kind of full to me, but on this angle, you can tell that there is so much that has been taken out of it. And it's just going to be a lot easier now for the kids to grab the books that they want to use. It is day 21 and I am decluttering and organizing this breakfast slash medication slash junk box area in my kitchen. My initial goal today was to turn the three boxes on top of this floating shelf into two boxes. I am just so sick of the clear container of medications up there. It looks messy. Anyone who visits can see exactly what medications we take and I just really don't like that. So today I am decluttering that area and because I had the extra time today, I decided to do the shelf below them that has like coffee and spreads and all that everyday stuff on it too. So I'm just starting by getting everything off the top here. These baskets are just so full and they're overflowing everywhere and it just looks horrendous so we need to get this under control in fact I probably needed to get this under control a long time ago but we're doing it today so I can just forgive myself and get it done or get it done and then forgive myself I don't know but we're getting it done and I know that I said that I wasn't going to add much cleaning motivation to this video I'm really trying to stick just to the decluttering footage or declutter footage instead of you know sharing all of it but I am just throwing in a small amount of cleaning motivation in today's video because some of these areas were so messy and embarrassing well not embarrassing for me but I suppose you could call them embarrassing if you get embarrassed about that stuff this is just real life for us so I try not to get too embarrassed um some of the comments though sort of make me wonder if I should be embarrassed because apparently uh it's like impossible for some people to understand how anybody could live like this and I you know I think that's great good for you that you don't live like this and you are on top of things in your house. Yay for you. I'm actually proud of you. Well done. Anyway, moving on. That's enough praise for the negative comments that come my way. Speaking of comments though, I always feel like when I talk about the negative comments, I need to acknowledge all of the positive comments that you guys write in on my videos, under my videos. Your comments are seriously so, so sweet. I get like 95% of the people that watch my video say the nicest things. They're always like, don't worry about the negative comments or, you know, um, what your house looks like is normal. And, you know, a lot of people can relate, but there are the few minority, like 5% of my comments that really can not relate in any way possible. Like they are just like mind blown that people can live like this. And I mean, I know that my house is a mess and I know that I have way too much clutter and it is in need of a huge declutter, which is why I started this 30-day declutter challenge in the first place. But to me, like, I, I don't know, I'm not embarrassed of the state of my house. You can walk around, you know, you can get from room to room. It's not completely covered. It's just lived in, I suppose. And yeah, it just blows my mind that some people are so shocked by the look of my house. But anyway, those people are obviously extremely lucky. They don't have any mental health issues. There is nothing holding them back from getting up every day and doing the things they need to do to keep their house under control. And one day I aspire, I don't even know if that's the word, but one day I dream to live a life like that as well. I am trying to declutter my life and get everything a bit more manageable in this house or under control. So one step at a time. But thank you so much to everyone who writes the absolute sweetest comments in the world. I wish that I could find the time to reply to all of you. And I will one day, sometimes my comments come through like two weeks late because I'm really just trying to catch up with the comments. Lately, my channel has kind of blown up a bit and it's um, I've had a couple videos that have done really well and I am just trying to work out how to adjust to the excess comments that are coming in and, you know, how to make sure that I reply to all of you because I really appreciate the time that you guys take to stop and comment. So I want to make sure that I do the exact same for you guys, but I just need to ask for your patience because it is taking 
longer than I had hoped it would. So back to the decluttering for a minute here. I have decluttered the clear medication container already that is completely empty and gone, which makes me so happy that that won't be returning to the top of that shelf again. And now I am just going through the first brown box that's up there. This is sort of like our junk drawer. We don't really have one in the kitchen. Our kitchen's not the biggest, although I won't complain because I know it could be much smaller. But our junk drawer has been sitting in this box pretty much forever now. It's just got a bunch of the most random things in it that we are never going to use. But at the same time, you worry that one day you just might need those things. Like I kept the safety pins that were out of this container, but only half of them because who needs 200 safety pins? I know that I don't and I'm pretty sure that I won't. So I've just gone ahead and decluttered that whole box so that now I can fill it up with the medications which is also good because the medications were overflowing and this box is just that bit bigger than the clear one so they should all fit in here really well especially now that I have decluttered all of the expired medications it just is going to clear up so much room and just make this box look so much more organized up on top of that shelf and then I'm going to go through the second basket get that fully decluttered and finish off the rest of this bench here. I need to declutter all the breakfast stuff. There's a lot of like coffee sachets that I know are out of date. There's a lot of things up there that I don't drink anymore. And then there's just those little sachets that you get from like hotels or holiday cabins when you stay in them. And I tend to take them because I'm like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll give them a try when I get home. <laughs> and it just never happens. So I'm just throwing out all of the excess stuff so that I can have a much more organized area in the kitchen to wake up to in the morning. So with that said, I am going to stop talking for a minute and catch my breath, but I'm also going to continue to declutter and organize this area of my kitchen. There is lots to do. There is so much to declutter in this area. I end up getting rid of so much of this stuff and it just seriously the before and after clips are so satisfying so make sure you stick around for those i will be sure to put those in before we move on to day 22 so let's get back to it let's get it done if you have anything in your house that you need to declutter right now go and grab it, grab a basket, grab your or go towards your junk drawer and declutter with me, please. I seriously love it so much when you guys get involved and declutter with me. So let's get back to the decluttering and let's just get this done. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be. No one's waiting for me. I won't lie. To you got like a million ideas what we could do because i'm not gonna let you slip away i won't waste this there's something about the way you fix your eyes on me i can't help myself fall in love i go crazy I, I, I. what you wanna do now should we head back to my place I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this I, I, I. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? I, I, I. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you
So here is the super satisfying before and after that I promised. I still feel like I could declutter so much more from those boxes on top, but for now, I am so happy with how this turned out. So we have hit day 22 of the 30 day declutter challenge and today I am decluttering our shoes. We don't have a lot of shoes. They all mostly fit into this shoe box, but they have been spilling out everywhere lately and the kids feet have grown. So I thought it's time to declutter them. I'm just starting by emptying them out onto the floor so that I can see what we have. And then I'm just going to give the shoe box a good vacuum to get all of the dirt and sand off that the kids drag in from their shoes. This vacuuming seriously took way too long. The vacuum kept dying on me. I did cut out pretty much all of that footage though, but it turns out that the plug that was charging the vacuum hadn't been plugged, hadn't been plugged in properly for a week now. So that was a bit annoying and it took so much longer than it needed to. Bailey, shh. I'm doing a voiceover. Bailey. Shh. My dog barks. Oh my God. No. My dog barks at seriously leaves that fly past. If anyone else has a dog like that, I feel your pain. But back to the shoes. So now that I've cleaned that box out, I'm just going through all of the shoes and figuring out which ones still fit my kids' feet and which ones I sort of don't wear anymore. And I'm putting them to the side to declutter and the rest of them, I'm just putting straight back into this shoe box. Speaking of this shoe box though, I do need to ask how you guys store your shoes in your house. I really need a new system. I thought this system was perfect. I love this little box. It looked cute and neat in the entryway, but somebody commented on one of my cleaning videos, how disgusting it is that my shoes are all stacked on top of each other and that the bottoms of their shoes are touching the tops of the shoes that are under it and all of the germs that we get from you know on our shoes outside and stuff are touching the tops of our shoes anyway it made so much sense and I totally agree with this person I don't even remember their name sorry but I'm glad that they commented that sometimes negative comments are good things or constructive criticism I should call it, it wasn't really a negative comment but sometimes it's a good thing I really want some a, a different system here so please let me know how you store your shoes at home. I don't really love the look of a shoe rack, but if I can't think of anything else, I will just buy a basic shoe rack and put them on that. But I was hoping for something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing or just something that makes a little bit more sense. So please let me know in the comments down below how you store your shoes. I would appreciate it so, so much. So I managed to declutter an entire bag of shoes from this shoe box. This is how the area is looking now. It is so much more tidy, even though this area of the house, the entryway, gets messy within a couple days of people coming in and throwing their shoes off. But for now, it is looking so much better. There is so much more room in that shoe box. It's not overflowing and it just... It looks a lot more peaceful for now. So we have just hit day 23 of our 30 day declutter challenge. And today I am tackling the family photo album box. So this wooden chest has been in our family for generations. It is so full of amazing memories. So many black and white and sepia photos from my grandparents time. But my mum gave this to me about five years ago to do with as I please. And I think it is time to go through them and declutter them. First of all, I'm going to say I was so naive going into this. I thought I would get this done in one day and I had even planned to condense it all down into just the one photo album. And let's just say that did not happen. I did manage to declutter over 20 photo frames and photo albums from the box today in like, I think I did this over an hour span. So it is a start, but this is honestly a decluttering project of its own. I really need to spend an entire day here or even multiple days to get this under control and decluttered. It really just takes so much mental work to declutter items like this. So i I honestly, I should have known I was never going to get this done in one decluttering session because honestly, deciding which memories to declutter and say goodbye to and which ones uh, were needed to be kept for, you know, the next generation and for my kids, it was really hard for a lot of them. Like when it come to my mum's family albums, I kept mostly just the ones of her and her parents and siblings, but 
then for example, there were a lot of photos of her auntie, like pages and pages. I think that, um, I'm not sure if she was a model or something like that, but I really didn't need all of those photos. So I kept two of her and then I just decluttered the rest, which I did get my mum's permission for before I did that. I did make sure that she would be okay with me doing that. And she was totally fine with that. Then I came across a bunch of my old school camp photos as well. And this is probably showing my age, but back then my mum used to buy me those disposable cameras for school camps. I'm sure a lot of my audience know what I'm talking about, but for those younger ones watching that don't, the cameras would like have 21 shots on it. And once you clicked it, you would wind it up to take the next shot. And once you had your 21 photos, you would have to go and hand them in to get printed off. And it would usually take one or two weeks before you would even get to see what they look like. And sometimes they were just terrible. Sometimes my finger was over the like little bit that takes the photo over the lens. And yeah, you just never knew what you were going to get out of those little disposable cameras. But anyways, a lot of the photos from back then are just of people who aren't in my life anymore or just random pictures of wildlife or kangaroos at the zoo or wherever we went on an excursion or to the camps that we went to. And those photos I was able to just look at one last time to reminisce and then, yeah, I really wasn't sad to let them go. So some of it was easy to declutter, but then there were some albums that I got to that were just so difficult. Like this black and white one here was so hard to declutter. I felt like in a weird way, I don't know, you know, what everyone's beliefs are, but I definitely did not feel alone in the room when I was going through this album. A lot of the people in this album have passed on now and I feel like I personally felt like while I was decluttering these that I was throwing out the last of these people's lives and it just made me feel really uncomfortable and I don't know, I don't know, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't declutter them as well as I wanted to. So this album is something that I really have to go back to again and go through again off camera and just figure out what's important to keep because I like the look of this album is just beautiful it's so old-fashioned it like it's got little notes in there it's just I love looking at it but my kids probably won't like if I keep it it's just going to get handed down to my kids and this is where the Swedish death cleaning method comes in I don't want to burden my kids with all of these things like absolutely they will want a photo of their grandparents and their grandparents, parents, and, you know, the usual family tree stuff, but they don't want a thousand photos of my mum's auntie or a bunch of photos of my childhood dogs. Like, I don't know if you saw me before going through an album of dogs. They're my dogs from when I was younger, and they were really hard to declutter too because I miss them so much, obviously, as you do when you have pets in your lives. They really are like family, and it was hard for me to even just throw those photos out. I did keep a couple, but I tried to declutter as much as possible because again, those are just pictures that my kids are probably not going to care too much about. But yeah, as I said earlier, this is definitely a decluttering project of its own. I really need to spend a lot of time going through this box of photos and really figuring out what ones are important to pass down to my kids and what ones that they, you know, just, it's just not necessary for them to have. So I'm going to finish off decluttering this photo chest and then I'm going to show you everything that I decluttered. I feel like I made a huge dent, even though the box still looks full at the end, I still feel like I made a huge dent in it and I have made progress. And as they say, progress over perfection. It will get done in time. It is just one of those things that is going to take a little longer than I expected it to. Today is day 24 of the 30 day declutter challenge and today I am back in my son's room. I'm doing something a little bit lighter today since yesterday it was just a lot on my brain. So I wanted to do something that was just completely 
brainless. So if you saw in part two of my decluttering series, I did a major declutter in my son's wardrobe, but his room is still more cluttered than I would like it to be. So today I am working on another area of his room. This is the corner that he keeps all of his Lego in. And if you have kids, then you probably know that Lego can get out of hand and unorganized pretty quickly. One minute you just have a couple of boxes of it and then a few Christmases and birthdays later and you are literally drowning in the stuff. So I am just trying to get on top of it again. It's been a while since I have organized it. We used to organize his Lego into colors and shapes in the past. And as much as it helps him find the pieces he needs a little quicker, lately he has been discouraged from playing with his Lego at all because he refuses to build the Lego sets unless he has the complete set. And usually there's like one or two pieces missing. So today I am going through and putting the sets into Ziploc bags so that it is easier for him to play with. I'm obviously not going to be able to put all of the sets into bags, but I'm going to get as much done as I can today. And this will be, again, a continued project that I will get around to doing today. I just really want to focus on more of the decluttering side of things and just cleaning up this area in general. I am also going to be moving this Lego table out of his room today, which is why I am emptying out all of the Lego from it and giving it a good clean and vacuum and wipe down because I'm going to be repurposing this table to be used as a craft table in the lounge room. My kids are so into their crafts at the moment and honestly it turned out to have the perfect storage for all of their craft items. It has the side pockets for the crayons and the textures and then the top compartments hold the colored paper and other craft items perfectly. We did have their crafts spread out into a few different areas of the house in various cube storages which was a bit chaotic so this has really solved that issue for us now and at the end of the day it really was a win-win. Not only had I cleared up a bunch of unused space in his bedroom but I also managed to get some serious organization in with the crafts which I've been meaning to do for such a long time now and the kids absolutely loved it. So now that the table's out I'm just going in and giving this corner a bit of a deep clean. It has been a while since this wall has seen any daylight but then I'm going to sort out the rest of his stuff and separate some of his Lego sets into Ziploc bags. This was kind of a long process though so we'll just cut to the chase. Here is everything that I ended up decluttering from this area and here is what it looks like now. Moving that table out has created so much more floor space in here which brings us to day 25. This is the last part of my son's bedroom that needs decluttering. A few items which you'll probably notice in this shot have kind of just made their way around the room. This is the problem with having so much stuff. Not everything has a home. Well, not yet anyway. The goal at the end of this 30-day declutter challenge is to try to have a home for everything in my house. And just a little spoiler in case you don't make it to the end of today's video, I did not succeed in that goal. Maybe if I did probably another three declutter challenges, I would be successful, but it's still a work in progress. If you have been here from the beginning of this declutter challenge, you will know just how much I got rid of. Like I got rid of well over 1,000 items. I'm probably underestimating myself there. It was probably closer to 2,000. I got rid of so many large garbage bags of stuff, clothes, teddies, kitchen stuff, which you'll see later in this video. Just, I can't even remember now, but it was just so much stuff. If you go back and watch it, you will see, but my house is still so full. I just don't understand where all this stuff is coming from. But all I can say is thank goodness that I had completed this 30-day declutter challenge before Christmas because otherwise I would probably not be able to move in the house right now. Speaking of Christmas though, I just realized that I haven't even stopped to say Merry Christmas to you all yet, but very quickly before I get stuck talking about that, I'll just quickly explain what is going on in the video right now. It is looking a little bit chaotic at the moment, but after I cleaned off the floor for some reason my brain thought that it would be a great idea to make a huge mess again but anyways here I am going through all of the stuff that was up on the bookshelf I'm just starting by decluttering 
this pile and then I'm going to declutter those colored cube storage boxes next to me as well. So while I do that, let's talk about Christmas. Was it good? Was it bad? Do you even celebrate Christmas? We personally do celebrate Christmas. Um, honestly, though, this year it, it was a bit of a struggle. We sadly lost two family members just before Christmas. My nan passed away in November and then my partner's nan actually passed away too a few days before Christmas. So I can definitely understand how it can be a hard time of year for many people. It's not always easy to celebrate when our loved ones aren't here anymore. So if that is you, I am sending you big, big hugs to anyone who lost someone in 2023 or anyone who doesn't have their partner or family member or children or anything like that with them this year or any year. I'm sending big hugs to you and lots of love and strength. Honestly, I thank my kids so much for this year because without them keeping the Christmas spirit alive, we would have struggled a lot this year. But thanks to them and really I give full, full credit to them. We actually had a really good Christmas. We had Christmas lunch at our place with family. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the day turned out regardless of losing our nans this year. But please let me know in the comments how your Christmas was. I want to hear the good, the bad and the ugly. Anything you want to share with me, I would love to hear about your Christmas. So I basically just went through and sorted out those books and organized them a little bit better so that they fit on the shelf. I'm a bit disappointed that I couldn't declutter more. I did take out all of these That's Not My series books. My daughter absolutely loved these books when she was little, but she has grown out of them. And the same with this little nursery rhyme book pack as well. But I am keeping those. I don't know whether I'm going to give those to a friend or keep them for my kids. I don't know because they were so loved those books but these ones here, these sound making ones, they've sort of run out of batteries and I think they're button batteries so I don't really want to mess with that anyway. So I've just put them down to be decluttered and now I'm moving on to the cube storage. I want to turn these four boxes into two boxes so I'm going to be getting rid of as much as I can out of these boxes today. So I'm going to throw some music on. I know a couple of you have mentioned that you don't like when I put music over my videos and I want you to know that I've listened to your feedback. I have taken it on board, but honestly, I can't think of any better options. I can't exactly voice over the entire video. I feel like you would get very sick of my voice if you haven't already. And I can't just leave the original audio on. And trust me, I'm doing you a favor by not doing that because you would basically just be listening to my dog bark for the entire video, which surely would drive you crazier than listening to some background music. So what I'm trying to say is I heard your complaints. I appreciate the feedback. I really do good or bad feedback. I love it when you guys send that in, but if you don't like the music, you can mute it. I promise I will not be offended, but majority of the comments did say that they don't mind the music. So the music is here to stay for now. I'm going to finish decluttering these cubes and then I'll be sure to add a quick before and after once I'm finished because I feel like this cube storage had such a satisfying transformation. So be sure to stick around for that.
So here is everything that I managed to declutter on day 25 of my 30 day declutter challenge. I'm pretty happy with this. The kids are still sorting out one of the baskets, but here is a quick uh, clip of the before chaos. And then here is a clip of the after. I am so happy with this transformation, but now we are moving into the kitchen. It is day 26 and it is time to give this fridge a good deep clean and a major declutter. If you have been here since before my decluttering series, you would have probably just recently seen a video of me cleaning out my fridge. But honestly, that was filmed well over a year ago. If you've been here a while, you know I took a six month break, maybe even longer than that. So that was old footage that I had only just gotten around to editing. But yeah, it has basically been a year since I last gave this fridge a really good look over, which I know earlier in the video, I said, I don't get embarrassed about this stuff, but that probably is a little bit embarrassing. Like I should definitely be going through my fridge a lot more often than that. I do like clean up spills and that if they're, you know, major, if it's like beetroot juice or something like that. But other than that, I don't really clean my fridge that often, which is going to gross a lot of you out. I, I know there's probably so many studies showing how many germs there are in fridges. I just... I refuse to read those articles because I'll probably be just disgusted in myself. But anyways, let's get into this. I have done the cleaning off camera so I can just use my magic clicking finger. The fridge has now had a really good deep clean. It is shiny again. I still need to empty out those bottom drawers and declutter those and organize them better. But other than that, the fridge is shiny and I am ready to head over to the bench and declutter all of these condiments and just things that are out of date. A lot of these things need to go, especially like the sauces and things like that. So I'm going to go through and declutter these and then I'm going to restock the fridge with the things that I'm actually going to be keeping. So that is basically all done now and I went ahead and cleaned and organized the bottom two drawers off camera because that took a little while but here is a quick before and after of the fridge. It is so shiny and fresh now which makes me so happy and here is everything that I decluttered on day 26 of this challenge. It is day 27 now though and today I am decluttering one of the many cupboards in my kitchen. I honestly just randomly chose this one because I have to start somewhere and honestly they are all chaotic at the moment and also because I know that I'm going to be decluttering a lot from this cupboard so it is a good place to start. I actually got a lot of these pots and pans a while ago now. If you watch my other channel here on YouTube you would have seen how excited I was when I brought these. Like I was over the moon. I loved having pink cookware but sadly Sadly, they didn't last long and I can't 100% blame the pots and pans because I am not the most gentle with my cookware. But yeah, they just, they didn't work for me personally anyway. So I am decluttering a lot of them today and just a really quick cleaning tip while I'm here. If you get these black scratches from the bottom of your pots and pans in your cupboards like I do, you'll know that they don't just wipe off easily with a cloth. And my best friend when it comes to those marks are magic erasers. I feel like I'm recording an ad right now, but I swear I am not sponsored by them or anything at all. But magic erasers are my secret. They take them straight off. They take all those marks off with barely any scrubbing and it makes my shelving come up brand new again. I seriously can not rate them enough. So now that this space has been decluttered, I feel like everything is going to fit so much better. There is still a couple of my large fry pans in the sink. I'm behind on dishes as usual. There is no shock there, but they will fit perfectly on the top shelf here. But here is everything that I have decluttered from this cupboard today. These pink pots and pans have needed to go for such a long time. They're all scratched up, the ceramics sort of peeling off, and I just don't like cooking in them anymore. I'm not sure how safe that is, so 
they need to go. I'm decluttering them today. And I am also getting rid of this little veggie steamer strainer thing here. It goes with the pot that I'm getting rid of. And we already have a strainer and a veggie steamer. So there is just no point keeping an excess one. We don't use them that often. So I'm decluttering that too, as well as the lids that go with these pots. And I am so happy to see all of this leave my house today. It is day 28 of my 30 day decluttering challenge and today I am working on decluttering my spice cabinet. I have not gone through this in such a long time so the game plan for today is to just take everything out, clean up the shelf and then go through and just declutter anything that has expired or that is basically empty. So today was a really easy one although I really do think that I should get a lazy Susan for in here though because I didn't realize how much was hidden at the back of this shelf that I probably would have used if I knew that it was there, but one step at a time, I suppose. But I am so close to finishing my 30 day declutter challenge and it feels so good having less stuff in this house. I absolutely love that some of you have been doing this challenge along with me. Knowing that you guys get cleaning motivation from watching my videos or when I read the comments that say you're going to clean with me or that you're about to go and declutter a part of your house because my video inspired you to do that. They are seriously my favorite comments because they encourage me to keep filming and sharing this side of my life. They encourage me to keep making these videos because that is seriously the end goal. I want to encourage you guys. You guys encourage me so much and you inspire me so much with all of your comments and the things that you say. And when I you know, hear about your life, it is so interesting to me and I just feel like this community is just amazing. It is exactly what I wanted to build when I started a YouTube channel and I'm just so grateful for it. So if you do join me today or if you have been joining me in this 30-day declutter challenge, please leave a comment below. Keep them coming. Let me know that you are joining me. Let me know that you are decluttering with me or cleaning with me or just if you got cleaning motivation from my video today, I just honestly cannot tell you enough how much I love reading those comments. So please keep them coming, but also update me. Let me know how your decluttering is going. I would love to know if you have been successful or if you know you got sort of stuck along the way. I know that I did. Uh, yeah, but just let me know. I love reading all your comments. So here is a quick before and after shot of the spice cabinet. It is so much more manageable now. And here is everything on the bench here that I'm going to be decluttering or that I have decluttered already. Just a bunch of spices that are basically empty, out of date spices, uh, out of date sauces, oil, and heaps and heaps of these instant noodle packet sachets that my kids don't use. They prefer to put tomato sauce or something on their noodles. But anyways, I'm so glad to see all of this go. So we are on day 29 now. We are so close to finishing this challenge. Today, I've decided to declutter this utensil drawer. It barely opens some days. There is just so much in here and I probably only use about 50% of the stuff in here. So I'm really looking forward to decluttering a bunch of this and just making it a much more organized functional space in my home. So I'm starting off by getting everything out so that I can clean out this drawer. And then I'm going to go through and just put back the things that I definitely use. So I'm just going to get straight into this one today. This is another one of those really easy decluttering tasks that are completely mindless. And I don't even know why I've been putting it off for so long. So I am just getting in there, getting it done. I'm wiping out this drawer. Unfortunately, I had run out of magic erasers. So those little black marks have to stay for now, but I have added it to my forever long to-do list. They will be cleaned off sooner or later. So I'm just throwing all the stuff back that I am keeping. And this is how it looks now. This is so much more better. The drawer shuts so much easier, which honestly, I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. And here is everything that I am decluttering. It is mostly the plastic utensils. A lot of them actually are pretty much brand new, but they tend to melt as soon as they touch my pans. So it is definitely time for them to go. And then also these pouches, my kids have outgrown pouch food, so we don't need those anymore. And excuse my dirty stove, but I'm also just relocating these items. So the strainers do not need to be there. And the slinky definitely does not need to be there either. But other than that, I'm so happy to be decluttering the rest of these items on the bench here today. I cannot believe it, but I am also so happy to say that we have finally made it to day 30. Today, I am decluttering my dog stuff. This shelf is supposed to be just his stuff, but somehow the most random stuff has ended up here, like batteries and a little light thing and God knows what else, some swimming equipment, I think. But I am going to take 
everything off this shelf and then I'm going to give it a good wipe down and try to declutter as much as I can from here so that I can finish off the challenge strong. I'm going to be making sure that I get rid of at least 50% of this stuff. You guys, this has been such a long declutter challenge and I still have such a long way to go when it comes to decluttering this house. I still feel like I am drowning in stuff. So this is honestly just the beginning of this journey for me. If you have enjoyed watching me declutter my life so far though, I would love for you to show some support to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. And also if you want to continue to come along this journey with me, make sure to hit that subscribe button too and turn on your notifications to all. I would absolutely love to have you here. Also, again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the love and support you guys are leaving in the comments over the last few months. You honestly make my day days so much better and I am just so so grateful that you are choosing to spend some of your day watching my videos it honestly just means the absolute world to me so thank you for literally being the best people in the world but I'm just wiping down the shelf here I've cleared everything off I just need to give it a good wipe down because it is absolutely covered in dust but here is everything that I have decided to declutter from the dog shelf today these worming tablets here are all expired so they gotta go and then these shampoos are also expired so I'm just getting rid of those too there's just like a bunch of random rubbish here that needs to go and these old teddies don't even ask why we kept them because I don't know but my dog tends to just pull all the stuffing out the center create snow in our lounge room and then yeah, there's just not much left. So I'm throwing them out. Don't know why we kept them. And then I'm just getting rid of this one jacket that he doesn't wear at all anymore. And that's basically it. So I feel like I got rid of quite a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back onto the shelf now that I'm keeping, which is basically just his folder, his dog treats tin, his lead collar, and a little water bowl kind of thing. Basically, that's it though. And I've also put all of his little jackets into a bag so that they're more contained and organized rather than just spilling out all over the shelf. So I am so much happier with how this shelf is looking now. I feel like I have finished off my 30 day declutter challenge strong. Thank you for joining me on this challenge and I'll be back as soon as I can with some more decluttering and cleaning motivation. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you